Hi, welcome back again in this section about process analysis and design. Today we will have a deep, deep discussion on how to analyze the process using certain measurement criteria. But first, let's see some terminology of the process performance. First, buffer, storage area between stages where the output of a stage is placed prior to being used in downstream stage. Blocking occurs when the activity in a stage must stop because there is no place to deposit the item. Starving occur when the activities in the stage must stop because there is no work exists, no work to do. Yeah, bottleneck is stage that limit the capacity of the process. This figure illustrates the buffer between two stages or two operations. The main role of the buffer is to guarantee the continuous flow of the process from the upstream into the downstream. However, buffer has also adverse effect on increasing inventory level. So, the process designer has to create the process such that process has continuous flow and minimum inventory in the buffer. In general, we can evaluate the performance of the process through this simple diagram. Operation time consists of setup and runtime, while the flow time is the average time for production unit, in this case product or components, to move through the production process. The first performance measure we have is called velocity, which is flow time divided by the value added time. The higher the velocity means we are using the most of the time to do productive activities. Throughput rate is 1 divided by cycle time. Here, the lower the cycle time, the better the throughput rate is. Throughput rate is closely related with the efficiency, productivity, and utilization of the production process. Simple example of the process to make sandwich. The performance of this serial process can be increased with adding parallel activities on making bread, filling process, and toasting. This action directly reduces cycle time and also increases throughput rate. There is a close relationship between the inventory and throughput time. That in the long term, inventory is equal with throughput rate multiplied by the flow time. This is called little allow. So if we want to minimize the inventory in the long term, we have to reduce flow time. In the service sector, process can be categorized based on the degree of labor or number of labor and the degree of customization. Service process that has high degree of labor and low degree of customization is called mass service, for example, commercial banking. Oppositely, the process that has low degree of labor and high degree of customization is called service shop. The concrete example of this service process is fine dining restaurant and hospital. In between those two categories, we have service factory, which is low degree of labor and low degree of customization, like fast food restaurant, as we know together, and professional service, which has high degree of labor and high degree of customization. For example, private banking. The thing that we need to remember in designing service process is that interaction with customer is absolutely necessary, but this may affect the performance of the service itself. The better we manage the interaction between the customer, the more effective and efficient the process is. Finally, the key to design service process is finding an optimum combination of cost and customer interaction. I'm happy to have you here in this section about process design and analysis. Hope you enjoy all the video. See you again in another section and happy learning.